Hello, hello everybody. This is Monty with Flowers by the Bunch. Happy Good Friday. So today I am going to put together a, an arrangement with vegetables. Um, I always call it a Peter Rabbit arrangement because it looks as if you went out in the garden and just gathered it. And so I am going to get started. Now, last year about this time, I put together an arrangement that was very similar to this, um, it, but it was different. I did not arrange the flowers directly in the water last year. Last year, I took a cylinder type container and I set, I put carrots down in there and I set an oasis cage on top and then I arranged in the oasis cage. Well, this year I decided Number one, that was not real feasible. It wasn't an arrangement that you could deliver, um, and it wasn't an arrangement that was really easy to move from one place to another. So this one is going to be done that way. I want to do it where it's something that you can arrange, I mean, you can deliver. So um, you could put this together and then you can take it to someone's house or however. Um, I have Victoria here with me this afternoon. I know you're glad to, to hear her voice. So if you have any questions as we go, please ask. So this is a pretty good size container. Um, and when I say it's a pretty good size container, mm -hmm. the mouth of the um, vase is about the size of my hand. And so it's a pretty good size container. I am going to start out with carrots. I filled it up and I didn't fill it all the way because when I got my carrots, when I tried it, um, I tucked these carrots down in the vase and the water started to overflow. So I thought, we don't need quite so much water. So I went to the grocery store and our local grocery store is Kroger. And they had these carrots that still have the greenery on them. And so, oh, they're wonderful. They are so exciting. And so what I'm going to do and aren't I the only person in the whole world that would get excited about mm. carrots with granary on them, right? <laughs> so, I'm gonna take these carrots and I'm just going to drop them right down into this glass vase. So you see how the water level came right up when I dropped it into the glass vase. Now, I'm leaving the granary on these carrots. I've not done that before. Um, so if there's any granary on there that's not pretty, go ahead and trim that back. Um, and like there's some that's kind of dark. I don't think it's gonna be a problem because I'm gonna put a lot of stuff in here, but I'm gonna just take my scissors and I'm just gonna trim back just some of this, like if it's broken, see how this piece is broken? I'm just gonna trim it up. So just take your greenery and trim it up. Now I will tell you that these carrots were in the organic section. Um, the ones that were not organic didn't have their greenery left on them. So, okay, so I'm going to leave those carrots um, with their greenery on there. Yep. I still got some. Thank you, dear. And so, like I said, if it's not pretty, take it off. It doesn't, nobody's really going to know the difference. Um, so, I'm going to try to take these carrots and I want them, I want my flower stems to kind of be down in the center of the carrots. So, I'm kind of making just like a little, um, a little hole in the center of my carrots so that I can tuck my greenery and my flowers down in. So I'm going to leave some greenery on one side and some on the other. So there we go. So we've got our carrots tucked down in our water. Now I also got red radishes because they're just so pretty. Look at those red radishes. Now I don't eat them. <laughs> they're yucky, but they're pretty. Um, I also got these are, I have to look, they're beets, red beets. And I just loved the, I like the texture. I think it's got this neat root. It's really pretty. And um, I like that deep burgundy red color. I thought that was nice. And then I also have Brussels sprouts. Um, and so we're gonna take these Brussels sprouts and we're gonna put them on skewers and tuck those into the arrangement just as if they are part of the their flowers, okay? So with, I said these were radishes, right? They all, it always, I want to say, um, I don't know, they're radishes. Mm -hmm. So what I did is they have actually, t now the foliage isn't beautiful, but it has a rubber band around the foliage to keep them into a little bundle. So what we did is we took a piece of wire, I don't know if you can see it, but I took, Callie actually helped me. She took several pieces of wire and she tucked it around 
that rubber band. So I'm just gonna kind of twist it. And I am going to take this wire and put it on a wood pick. And let's see. So I have a couple of these wood picks. I'm gonna take this wire, I'm gonna move my carrot so you can see what I'm doing. Let's see if I scoot those over. So I'm gonna take this wire, I'm gonna lay this wood pick right here and I'm just twisting that wire right around that wood pick. And I'm leaving them in a bundle just because I think that I'll get more, more effect with them in a bundle. I think I like them better in a bundle than I would if they were individually tucked in. I'm gonna set these to the side and I'm going to put those in the arrangement in just a minute. So I'm gonna start out with just bright, pretty colors. Um, oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with some lemon leaf or salal greenery. So this is called lemon leaf or salal. I'm gonna start out with greening my container first. So I'm just gonna take this salal and I'm just gonna add just a little bit of foliage. We have a lot of um, Happy Good Friday. Thank you, thank you. We're so glad that y'all are here with us this afternoon. What a beautiful day it is outside here in Mississippi. I mean, it is the perfect weather. It's, it's in the high 70s. It is perfect weather. It's beautiful here. Miss Allison says she's excited for your Peter Rabbit arena. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Allison. We're so glad you're here. Okay, so that's just a little bit of Salal that's going to help me keep my um, arrangement kind of in a little bit of a shape. I'm gonna start out with some Alstroemeria lilies. Now, I love Alstros because they last so long. So just pretty orange Alstroemeria lilies. And I'm gonna take them, it's still got a lot of foliage on the stem. I'm gonna just strip that foliage. And I am going to tuck a couple of these down low. This is going to help, um, it would be kind of like a hydrangea that would give us a little bit of um, a grid to put the flowers in. So I'm just gonna tuck those kind of down low into this arrangement. You can hear Jason outside. <laughs> and here goes Todd. All right, so I've got a few Alstros and that's just gonna be my base and help me to um, keep my flowers standing up a little bit. This is Israeli Ruscus. I'm gonna give us just a little bit of Israeli Ruscus in this arrangement. I really like Israeli Ruscus. I do too. This upright, well, and it's so inexpensive. It's an mm -hmm. easy foliage to, to fill in with. Mm -hmm. So I'm just tucking a little bit of that in. And what I'm doing here is I'm just really making my grid um, to keep all the other flowers standing up in the way I want them. So this is going to be a pretty compact arrangement. It's not gonna have a whole lot of height. I am going to come in with some blue delphinium because the blue delphinium was just too pretty to leave in the cooler. Okay, so there's our base. I'm gonna start out with some height. So this blue delphinium, is really amazing. Look at this color. And so I just had to have it. Um, I'm gonna take a few stems and I'm gonna give us some height. This color is just amazing mm -hmm. to me. And it just, it's so pretty with the, the yellows and the reds and the oranges that I thought, oh, I've got to use it. I just have to have it. <laughs> okay, so there's my line. That's just going to give us a little bit of height. And see how pretty those carrots are in the bottom of that arrangement. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the arrangement I did with the candy corn. Mm -hmm. um, back in October, um, I used candy corn and oh, it was so pretty. And I asked if anybody liked candy corn and I had, it was kind of 50-50 that people, some people hated candy corn and some people really liked it. And they said the best way to use candy corn was exactly how I used it. <laughs> um, they said that they don't want to eat it, but now I enjoy candy corn. Like I really like it. 
Okay, next time I come in with a little solid ego, give us some height and my yellow color. Now this is so much easier than my original Peter Rabbit arrangement. Um, the original was, was a little bit more work and this is going to be so much easier. It's just gonna be so much quicker and easier to make. Okay, next I'm gonna come in with some of these really, really large um, roses. So this is a yellow rose. I'm not exactly sure the variety, but it has kind of a peachy orange tip. Not a whole lot, I mean, you don't look at it and say, oh, that's a tipped rose, but it does have that little kiss of orange. So I'm pulling back some of these petals just because they've got, um, they're bumped. I am going to grab a little piece of wire. I'm gonna wire these heads. I'm not gonna leave them too long, but just for safety, I wanna wire their heads. So I'm gonna wire them. And I'm gonna tuck them just pretty deep down into this arrangement. Now the reason I call this a Peter Rabbit arrangement is because when I was a kid, Mama used to read us the Peter Rabbit book, and it had um, Farmer McGregor, and Peter would go and steal all the vegetables out of the mm -hmm. um, out of the garden. And so I think of it, I think of Peter Rabbit because of all the vegetables I tuck in here, and it just reminds me so much of him. And I think of Peter Rabbit at Easter, I guess because he's a rabbit. I don't know. <laughs> I think this would be a good um, baby shower arrangement if you did a Peter Rabbit arrangement. You know, perfect for a baby shower. All right, so there's a, some yellow roses, and this guy is not. There's a couple yellow roses. I'm going to add a couple more. I didn't wire that one because I'm really going to tuck it really deep into the arrangement. So you can see how it's really deep. I'm going to tuck a couple more on this side over here. Miss Carla Sanders said that's so cool. Isn't it pretty? Mm -hmm. There's my roses tucked in. Next, I'm gonna come in with some green buttons. And I said I wasn't gonna have much height, but I do have some height in this arrangement though. Todd. Todd, go in there and talk to Callie. Don't talk to her from here. <laughs> I love the green buttons. They're just so happy. I like buttons though. All right, there's some green buttons tucked in there. It's kind of hard to see, but they're tucked in. Todd was talking to you, Callie. <laughs> Telling you all about it. He was bossing you. Okay, here's some orange spray roses, and I love the way the orange spray roses are pulling the orange carrots from the vase. Miss Carla asks, how are we doing today? We are wonderful, Miss Carla. We are wonderful. Um, we are excited to celebrate Easter. We are going to have a graduation party for my nephew tomorrow. We're, we're gonna go out and play games. And, and then on Sunday, everybody's coming over to my house and we are going to eat. Well, we'll go to church Sunday morning and then we will um, come to my house and we're gonna eat lunch and then we're gonna play uh, Easter minute to win it games because It's more fun to play games than it is to sit around and look at each other, right? <laughs> so we like to play um, Minute to win it games. So I tucked just a few spray roses and I tucked some over here and some over here um, I love the orange because the orange really pulls those carrots up and kind of makes it makes it match I am going to come on in and tuck in my radishes. Now, I don't eat radishes. Do you eat radishes? What do you even eat radishes? I guess on salads. Like, um, Jason, my husband's mom, loves radishes, but I always thought they kind of tasted like dirt. What do y'all think? 
they're a little spicy, aren't they? Do they have like a little bite? I don't know. I don't, I never ate them. Ugh. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna actually take this and tuck it right here onto the edge of that vase. So you can kind of see that red. Now I am going to pull this red with some more, um, I've got some tulips, some red tulips. So they're not just gonna be hanging right down there. But there's those radishes there. And then I was going to take some of these pretty red tulips and pull some tulips coming in the top. So I have these red tulips that I thought were pretty. And I'm going to take some of those. What are they saying about radishes? How do you eat them? Miss Allison says, yes, they have a peppery bite. I don't care for them either. Okay. Miss Carolyn says, I love radishes on salad or even by themselves. Well, then I might just have to try it because I haven't had them since I was, I've been an adult. Mm -hmm. But I never, oh, I always thought as a kid I didn't like them. I don't think you have ever really tried them. Have you not tried We might have to try them. <laughs> So I am just tucking a few of these red tulips in here to pull the red from the radish. Miss Carla says she loves radish. She does. How does she eat them? Just on a salad or does she eat them just cut up? How oh, do you eat them? Miss, Cri Miss Christine says you can roast them. Huh. So kind of like you roast carrots and roast um, broccoli and cauliflower. I like roasted carrots and broccoli and cauliflower. Robin says they are great with beans and potatoes too. Interesting. Now, not raw though. You cook them? Mm -hmm. All right, so there's my red tulips. Miss Christine says yes, you cook them. You cook them. Mm -hmm. Laura says put salt on them and slice them thin. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. so there's our red tulips coming out this side. Now we have to use our... Why does this always leave me? Our beets. Okay, how do you eat beets? Aren't beets, don't they taste like dirt? Am I right? Mm -hmm. Why do I think something tastes like dirt? But they're pretty. They look nice. Aren't they so pretty? Okay, I think with the beets, I am going to take them apart. I still have more flowers I wanna put in, so I wonder, I better put my flowers in before I start tucking in my final vegetables. But look how, oh, oh, that is awesome. Look at that little greenery. <laughs> He's a happy beet. Look at this. They're so happy and pretty. Okay. Do beets taste like dirt? Am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Kind of pickled beets are awesome. Pickled beet. I'll have to try pickled beets. I don't guess I ever had pickled beets. All right. So I have got so fever few. You know I used that in my little wedding a couple weeks ago, and I thought this fever few was so pretty, and I would tuck a little bit of this in there because it's just such a happy filler. So I'm gonna take it and cut it into small pieces. And I am just going to tuck it and leave just a little bit of that, just kind of use it as a filler flower. Miss Lisa says beets are sweet and yummy. Are they sweet? Okay, well we've got we've got some things to try. So we are gonna certainly try radishes and beets because we've never done that before. I'm, I mean, I guess I just I don't appreciate them. I need to learn. All right, so I've got my favorite. Look at those scissors, bro. I need a pair of scissors though. Miss Julie says, what a gorgeous arrangement. Isn't this fun? Miss Allison said, I learned something Sweet. interesting from another florist video about tulips. If you take a knife and cut a little slit in the throat, they won't keep growing in your arrangement because they're they're putting their energy into fixing the slit. Wow. Okay. So would you do it up towards their heads? Or do you, you she said in the throat, right? Um, so kind of up towards the head of the? Yes, in the throat. Okay. So up towards the head of the tulip. 
All right, so I've got a few more tulips. Miss Becky Davis says I'm loving it. I've worked with silks all my life. So glad to catch you live. I'm always watching replays. Happy Easter. So glad you're here. So they, these are some more tulips. This kind of is red with some um, with some little yellow inside. I thought they would be fun tucked in here too. And on the back, I added a few little spray roses. I think we need, I think I like the back better than the front. Let's work on, I'm gonna turn it around to me and work on this side a little bit. Okay. They're sweet and they're and their greens are great. Uh, they're good pickled as well <laughs> and grated in salad and, or even just cooked by themselves. They're very healthy and radishes are very good. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm actually going to take these radishes. I mean, no, I want them to be a little more. I'm going to drop them. Miss Allison says, yes, you cut the slit towards, towards the end. I forgot. Towards the end. Okay. Some of them are falling off. They're rolling off, but we've got them in there. Okay. Uh, so, let's see. Miss Julie asks, is this arrangement for you? Actually, I don't know. It might be. I might take it to the graduation party tomorrow and then have an Easter. I just wanted to make it again um, because I just loved it when I made it last year. And so, okay. I'm going to try to cover. So, I don't love the foliage on those little red radishes. So, I'm going to take a little bit of this dragon cover up that foliage. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is these are those beets and they just are so pretty. Look how pretty that beet is. I'm going to take some skewers. So I've got some um, bamboo skewers just like um, you would cook on the grill. I'm just going to stick, stick it right into that beet and then tuck this guy just right into this arrangement just as if it's a flower. Take another. I love the foliages on these guys. And I'm going to scoot this arrangement over so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm taking this skewer and I'm just sticking it right in to that beat, just like that. Miss Christine says, I think I'm going to get some carrots tonight to go with the flowers I just brought. Home. I know, right? <laughs> All right, and here's a third guy. Miss Margaret says hi. She says it's such a beautiful arrangement and she wishes us a happy Easter. Thank you, Miss Margaret. Thank you so much. All right, so there's, there's my beets and there's my radishes. So now I'm gonna come in with some, um, why did this just escape me? Brussels sprouts. Okay, so, Again, I don't know that I know how to cook Brussels sprouts. I don't know anything about cooking Brussels sprouts. I know that people have told me to roast them. So I like to roast carrots and I like to roast, um, I like broccoli and cauliflower and all those kind of things roasted. But I've never, um, I've never roasted Brussels sprouts. They have such a strong flavor, so I've never just loved them. Now, I love cabbage. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking this little Brussels sprout, and I am sticking, sticking the skewer right down into that Brussels sprout. I'm gonna be there in the next 30 minutes. So tell me how you cook Brussels sprouts. I think my mom roasts them. So does she cut them in half? Mm -hmm. And does she sprinkle them with like olive oil and salt and pepper? Mm -hmm. And you just roast them until they're done. Mm -hmm. And I love them. Like 
I can look. I, I'll eat. Okay, <laughs> I'll have to try it. Okay, so I've got several Brussels sprouts, and I'm just going to tuck them in, just as if they are our flowers in my flower arrangement. Susan says steam them in butter. Steam them in butter, okay. Miss Laura says I boil them like I do cabbage. But now, let me ask you this, and I, the way I cook cabbage is I just take my cabbage and cut it in half and take that hard core out of the center and wash it really, really well. And then um, I cut it up and leave it wet, and I don't add water to it when I cook it. So I just kind of leave it wet and just kind of let it steam and I add butter and salt. And I don't do a whole lot of water. So is that how you would do the Brussels sprouts on that? And the same? Probably. Carolyn says fry them with olive oil and then add Parmesan cheese. Now that sounds yummy. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to add a little bit of greenery to this, and we're going to call it pretty. What do you think? It's got lots of color. It's so much bigger than the last one, but I love the carrots tucked down in the base. So this greenery that I'm adding is foxtail fern, and foxtail fern um, grows just in a pot. You can grow it um, in just a pot out on your patio and it's really pretty and it's really hardy and it's really easy to grow. It grows real well here in zone seven. So I don't know how well it'll grow in other places, but it grows fabulous here. This is um, sore fern. Just gonna tuck a little bit of sore fern in here. Is there an overall Thank you. Happy Easter. All right. Tell me what you think. Do you like our feeder rabbit arrangement? We have a lot of recommendations for <laughs> for how to cook them. Good, good. And we will try them. I promise. We <laughs> are. And they also, they're liking the arrangement. Do they like the arrangement? Yes. Good. Miss Lisa says it's a very happy arrangement. Isn't it? But don't you love the orange down here, how it pulls the um, the roses up here, pull that, those carrots? All right, guys. So there, and it's all the way around. It has pretty flowers all the way around. Um, but how fun is that? Doesn't it? So I want you to go into your local produce store or even if you have a farmer's market, I want you to get produce and tuck it into your arrangements. It makes such lovely arrangements, if you ask me. I always think it's more fun to shop in the produce department than it is in the um, floral department sometimes to see some of the pretty things. Now I still have a few radishes and because I still have them, I think it's a good idea because it's got this pop of red. Go ahead and stick skewers on those. Tuck those right down into that arrangement. And that pop of red is still going to, to go throughout. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you for being here with us this afternoon. I hope you have a wonderful Easter, and we look forward to seeing you all on Monday. If you, um, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up or give us a heart so that, that other people will see it. Please sprinkle and tag your friends if you think they might enjoy it. Guys, have a wonderful Easter, and we'll see you all real soon. Darling, you.
Darling.